The Wimbledon Museum is full of amazing artefacts, but within it, there's a treasure trove of unseen memorabilia. Look who we've got, the 1987 Wimbledon singles champion, Pat Cash. Right Pat, here. you've been in here having a look around. What do you make of it? There's some absolutely fascinating stuff in here. I grew up playing with the wooden, wooden rackets, and the, of course the evolution going on to the sort of aluminium rackets and the large size wow. racket. I remember when this came out, and I played with a version of this when I won, won Wimbledon. Yeah. Uh, in actual fact, this was uh, one of the classics, John McEnroe, Mac, Dunlop wow. Max play. So you had to sort of look down here to see if it was bent, and not surprisingly, this is in pretty good shape. <laughs> <laughs> not expected at a Wimbledon Museum. Anyone wants to know the secret to Bjorn Borg's success? It's because he played with a massive racket. <laughs> I remember that when this was sort of a new attempt to make a, a, different, uh, a different shape, I remember one of the guys coming on the circuit yeah. uh, and we all sort of looked at him going, what is that? And he, he played pretty well with that, though it, it didn't sell there very well. Now there is a mid-sized version of this, which has never been sold, never went out, and I used that. They made it specially for me. This is lacking in here. Ah. I'm definitely going to be donating one of these small versions uh, that is, uh, was never sold. Um, and it was a really good racket, actually. And is there one just behind that you've actually donated already? Yeah, that was, it's actually out of shape because the strings are pulled, but it looks, oh wow, it's really out of shape. <laughs> it looks like a snowshoe. It is truly amazing watching the, the journey of tennis rackets through the ages, the 1870s all the way. What have you got there? Ah, oh, this is a real tennis racket. So this is the, sorry, the original tennis, a real tennis, which is uh, Hampton Court, King Henry VIII. Now lift that. Could you imagine swinging that for five five sets or oh, five good hours? God. You, it would break your arm, wouldn't it? No oh, way. Who are these three guys? <laughs> the Queen's had some posters, some great posters. Had a, a graphic artist, and he used to make these caricatures of the players. I'm not sure if that looks like me or not. Nailed it. Uh, Nailed it. Nailed it. Really? Spot on. Stefan Edberg one is hilarious. He'd roll on the floor laughing, and he hated it. Every time he saw a poster, he said, so sure. so It does look like you, Stefan. We have 65 years worth of photos collected. Have a look oh, at wow. these. Oh, look at that. The old hairstyles. I've got a few, a few different hairstyles. That is Cash and Lendl. It was 84. I had match point on Ivan and, and lost. There are also some amazing paintings here. But, I mean, this one's stunning. It does look a bit like a, a Where's Wally yeah. for the photo. <laughs> so this was the player's restaurant. The top floor was a, was a bar. Jack Nicholson was there. Wow. And I'm going, ah, Jack, I'm Pat Cash. And he goes, ah, Pat, yeah, yeah. And I said, do you play tennis? You'd like to play tennis? Ah, I'm too old and I'm too fat to do that. <laughs> oh, this is very cute. I like it. Have a look at this. 1921, the blueprint for Centre Court at Wimbledon. Oh, wow. Truly incredible. What decade do you want to go, Pat? Well, I reckon the 60s. I reckon the 60s. 60s. And Jones Triumph. Is that right? That's what it says, I think, on the head, on the banner. That's incredible. There are about a thousand items on display in the museum at any time, but there are 35,000 items kept down in the entirety of it. So, 35,000? Kidding me. I like, love this. <laughs> Bjorn Borg's outfit, every kid. Wanted one of those. I mean, did you get? Did you have one? I actually did get one. <laughs> I bought one when I first my first ever visit to Europe. I got one. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Wow. Roger Federer's sweater, 2012. Oh, there you go. How many items did you say? Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. What have we got here? You recognise oh, this? Oh, there's like a little a can a can of balls they made for my uh, induction in the Australian Hall of Fame, I believe. Pat Cash. Australian tennis legend. There you go. Wow. I don't think I've actually ever seen this, some of these things. I mean, a lot of these things, but even things like this. This was an Australian brand that I used to use a racket as a kid. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had balls. I love the history of tennis. History was one of the only things I didn't fail in school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually did fail because I couldn't remember the dates, uh, but I loved it. Uh, and, and so I'm always, I'm, I'm constantly fascinated about to see things like this, and uh, it, it's fantastic. Wow, what a great museum. Well, there we have it. Two of the things that Pat Cash loves, tennis and history combined. <laughs>